Oh, hi, Internet. I just wanted to do a, a funny, impromptu opening as if I just casually walked into the garden, <laughs> even though I have to put my mic on and set my camera up myself. But I do have coffee. So I thought today's uh, video will just be sort of a hodgepodge of me doing bits and bobs around the garden. Uh, oh, and I'm going to share my painting from last Friday's Floral Friday which was the woodland theme. And of course I took artistic license with an animal. Last week's Floral Friday was woodland meadow themed and we had taken a tour in our wood. Um, and then I decided here, you can see the painting. I definitely took artistic license. Uh, well, this statue is actually a bust I do own and I place that, um, but the rabbit I do not own. Although Bunny Hall's gardens and lawns are full of rabbits, unfortunately, <laughs> or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. But the veg garden and the flowers are not happy. So uh, this is the painting that I did from Floral Friday. And I hope to do, uh, each week that I do a Floral Friday, I hope to interpret it in some way, most likely with animals, the following week. All right, let's get back to videos. So I thought I would share uh, just what I was getting about today. And this bit of the lawn has not been mowed for a, a week and a half, and so the uh, grass and wildflowers I've been able to grow. And uh, previously, I had planted a border of wildflowers after a tree had come down and we had a bare area. And the flowers were so amazing. And the Rubecchia, which is an amazing um, perennial, uh, seeded itself through the lawn. However, normally we mow the lawn, so we don't really get a chance to see where it is mixed in. But since we've had the water issue and the hole dug in the yard, I've noticed that the Rubecchia has been coming up. And so as today was a day to mow, I thought, you know, what, I'm going to go around and dig up some of the um, hardy little Rubecchias and I'll set them aside in the garden. And that way I will have them to add to the ever growing sunny hot border, which faces the sea. It's really hard to find things that grow in our salty, aired, hot baking sun of the summer. And since this Rubecchia, which had been planted either last year or the year before in just a mix of wildflowers, has been able to make it into our dry lawn, which has not been able to get watered or anything for the past month and a half, I figure that's a pretty strong plant. So I figure I'll dig it up. And I noticed they were nicely shallow rooted, so that's kind of a good sign. They don't need a lot of depth to grow. So I just dug them up and I will take them to the little veg garden, the little uh, wooden walled vegetable garden. So off to the garden we go, and I have, um, this is just my tiny little, uh, it's a mini version of a walled garden. One day I'd like to have a beautiful brick walled garden, but for now I'm happy with my small little wooden walled garden, which helps keep some of the, um, the salt air and the wind down so I can grow my veg. So I'm just giving the Rudbeckia a good soak, because I probably won't get to that till later in the week. And then I'm also watering the pumpkins that I started from seed uh, a week and a half ago and because I'm going to be planting those today. Okay, off to mowing. This is the front gardens, which faces the road. Um, our road is private. Uh, we only have one other house next to us. Um, so basically this, is, this road is just like part of our drive. But I still like to make it nice for when the summer neighbors walk by occasionally. So, um, and then I needed to plant up the rest of my pumpkin seedlings. Now I don't really have a walled area to do my pumpkins for this year, so I'm trying a little trial. Now I don't know, I'm sure the deer will love to eat them, but as an experiment I planted out quite a few seedlings and here I'm just digging them into my little front uh, fence that faces the road by my potted plants and we'll see if by autumn we have a collection of pumpkins. And now we have to have a little break of chicks because yes, my quail chicks have hatched. Well, they're beginning to hatch. And I had mentioned, actually, I think this is going to be tomorrow's vlog about the quail, but I had had a sad tale of my other quail eggs and the other quail I owned, but I'll tell you more about that later. Um, I think that's going to do it for today, so let's close out today's video. Oh.
Well, that's going to do it for us today here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this odd day of chores and random things I'm doing. Like right now, feeding the chickens the weeds from today's weeding. And I could never make even the slightest dent in the amount of weeds we have around here, but one tries. So, well, I hope you enjoyed today. We uh, did some planting. We looked at my painting. We just talked about who knows what. <laughs> so, um, well, thank you for joining me here at Bunny Hall, um, making a life by the sea. And I hope even if you live thousands of miles away, you can make a life by the sea no matter where you are. All right. Until tomorrow, which I'm not sure what tomorrow is going to be. I think possibly I will take you to the Boathouse Studio, which is a very much a work in progress. So we'll see about that. Oh, and also the quantity of chickens, which is supposed to be reduced as I was raising chickens for friends. Both friends now do not want them. And for a while I couldn't give them to them because I got them, started raising them, and then the virus hit. So we have a lot of chickens and they're all going to stay here now. So this autumn I have to think of a better, bigger run or possibly a chicken tractor. So we'll see. All right. Thanks again for joining me here and I'll see you tomorrow. And over the great crevasse, which is still in the yard, even though our water is installed, we still have the hole. Oh well. Just another day here at Bunny Hall. I'll see you tomorrow.